Today is the first day of fall, but is your wardrobe ready? And the weather is, that's for sure. Before you head out to show <laughs> off your new fab fall style, there are only three trends to mind when shopping this season. Stylist April Bush is here to tell us what you need to know. Okay. It's cold outside already. It is. I walked out this morning and went burr. I, I know. know. <laughs> we are so happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Thank you. So lots of trends that we're seeing, but the first one you say is Rebel Rebel. Yes. We're talking about mixing a little bit of femininity and a little bit of rocker chic. Ooh, rocker chic. Yeah, so we're taking a little bit of like feminine shapes, but then we're putting on like biker jackets with grommets and, you know, just a little bit of an edge. Okay. Let's see the first model rocking that Rebel Rebel. So yes, this is Sully, and she is rocking the Rebel Rebel look. Now, plaid is in this mm -hmm. season, so if you're thinking about getting a trend for this look, you're looking at the leather jackets, maybe the plaid skirt, and then jewel tones are hot too. Jewel yes. tones. Yes, so that, that bag, pop, that is blue. Great. Yes, that's a Michi bag. So it's a pop of blue. You want to go ahead and try something to brighten up a look. And I love the mix of the patterns and stuff. So that's in now it too, is. like doing patterns Mixing with patterns. the leather. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, yes. thank you so much. His is hers. Yes, so we're we're we're, we're borrowing from the men. Okay. This fall. Okay, yes. good. Because I yes, yes. now that's good. <laughs> so we're remembering <laughs> things like pinstripes, herringbone patterns. And so I kind of would I say Olivia poked her. I, <laughs> I, her. I put her in a strong masculine trench coat by DKNY. And there's a men in, men's inspired uh, white shirt that we put underneath it, but the feminine touch is that it's a crop sweater that we just layered over top and it of course has the herringbone pattern and so she kind of has a little bit of the menswear but we kind of sweetened it up a little. With the underneath, with the underneath shirts, I love it. Yes, layering. So what it, with the layering and stuff, you can just take like a boy's shirt and put it underneath? You sure can. Even think about doing a tie. A tie? Oh, yes. I've never even thought about doing a tie. Yes. What color would you recommend? Uh, Any color? Yes. Oh, just work it. Just work it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then we of course have complex simplicity. Yes, that is where we talk about retro shapes, we talk about asymmetrical hemlines. So as you can see with her cardigan, it's a plain cardigan, but you see how it's the waterfall uh, open front, uh -huh. and then the asymmetric skirt, and then over the knee boots are back. They are They everything. are back, and so she has that on, and then she's layered, and of course a nice chic backpack, not a regular backpack, but a, a nice, chic one. A chic backpack. Oh, can you turn around so we can see that backpack? Oh, yes. that is chic. That's awesome. Yes. Very nice. And it's kind of got patterns. Again, I'm noticing like a little bump of a pattern in there yes. every so often. Every so often. And then, of course, leather. Mm -hmm. We talked about that too. Leather. Now, yes, that's with the complex simplicity as well. So you might have an asymmetric skirt that has trimmed with leather, or it's trimmed with a, you know, velvet or something of that nature. But it's it's just taking a simple pattern and then just bumping it up a little bit. Okay, tell us about your look. I'm in love with it. Oh, thank you. This is a <laughs> this is a DVF wrap dress, and so it's warm and comfortable. But this is also the complex simplicity regular wrap dress, but it has the detailing and then a little I have bit the pattern. Yes, and that. the over the knee boot. Mm -hmm. Get Working one. the boots. Yes, this is, this is totally back on trend. Okay, maybe you can give me a style tip here, but okay. my legs aren't quite thick enough for the over the knee boots. Okay. They fall down. <laughs> what can I do about that? Because the calf, right? The calf is usually well, what falls. Uh, up it. here, it just falls down. Oh, well, up there. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, right, well part. there's there are some that come where they stop right here, right at the top of your calf, mm -hmm. but then they have a little lip. Yeah. That you just have to look Lift like up. it's over top, but it's not all the way up your knee mm -hmm. to your to your feet. So it's the yeah. style. I it's need the to. style. And then you know what also is pretty cool to try? Maybe taking um, a booty uh -huh. shoe and leg warmers. Booty oh. shoe and leg. Put Ooh, it over I on have the like and then put it on the same. Now it has to be the same color. Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, she looks like she's 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 I'm like leg she warmers. Knows you I'm ready. <laughs> she was like a different color leg warmers. No, Alex. They have to be the same color, and that way it looks like a boot. So cool. it kind of gives you the the look of a higher boot. But you just take your ankle booty uh -huh. and. Switch it up. And okay. then it makes it so fun. I'm that gonna is try awesome. that. I'll send you a picture. <laughs> You're gonna get those boots. We're gonna have to find her some boots. Okay, <laughs> very cool. Thank okay. you so much for being with us.